All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is Simplex 4010 Test 26, a request test by WX Pete. <clears throat> so begin the test, over here we have the advanced 5600-005 ADV dual action pole station. Going up is a Simplex 4906-9121 true alert set at 30 candela and code 3 mechanical horn strobe silenceable. Over here we have the Wheelock AS, this is set to um, 15 candela at code 3 strobe, non silenceable And to come all the way down here, we have the Thorn RMS 1T single action hex lock pole station under the stopper with the horn off. If we come all the way over here, we have the Oath APS 10 single action pole station and a Simplex 4903-9331, I believe, a remote 15 candela strobe, and then everything over there is the exact same. Let me grab that model number real quick. Is that right? 4904-9331, my bad, that is set at 15 candela. So, um, not a whole lot going on today. Let's pull. Um, door holder is active. Here we go. Press, then push. And we'll go ahead and silence that. Because this is running on SmartSync, it is a two-wire device, but it is silenceable. The reason I don't have that hooked up to the DSM is because my NAC4 module needs to run on Synchronous to run that remote strobe there. And if it's on that coding, it clicks on and off occasionally. You'll actually see it in the key switch, maybe. You see it kind of flicker on and off. That really screws up the DSM, and that actually just physically won't run. So that's why that is uh, strobe silences with the horn. So let's go ahead and pull the Thorn RMS-1T. Here we go. And we'll reset that. If you notice this one came on after delay occasionally, it will do that where the strobe kicks on, but the horn command does not come on until a little bit after the strobe comes on. So you notice the Wheelock Cedar, or I'm sorry, the AS kicked on immediately, and then this took a minute for the horn to come on. So we'll wait now for the panel reset. You can see it does say a reset in progress. So we'll just wait for that. And there we go. Go ahead and reset the door. Ah, so close. And let's go pull that Oath Pole Station. Here we go. Yes, that is a unicycle. And pull. And we'll go ahead and silence and acknowledge from the enunciator. You can see that pole, maybe, was listed as the closet pole. It is the pole right up against the closet. While we're here, we might as well pull the uh, desk pole station. Push and pull.
And we will acknowledge that desk pull, and then we will put a reset in the panel. All right, so now panel is resetting. Then after that, we'll reset the door, and then we will heat test the heat detector principle on that device. So we'll get the door ready to reset. Strobes continue to flash. Here we go. Let me grab my lighter and let's heat test. And actually what, we'll, what we will do first is we will bring up the heat detector and watch it as it goes. So here we go real quick, we'll do a force on LED. You can see it turns the LED on on the device. So then, oops. Come on. What that uh, force on LED does is it makes it easier to find a device. Like if you're searching down a whole hallway and you know it's one of the devices in the hallway, you tell it to force on the LED and then you just look for the device with the LED on. So you can see right now it is at 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So we will just kind of hold the lighter, baby. Yeah, like plenty of butane in here. There we go. So we'll just hold the lighter up there like that and then we will watch it uh, here. Hopefully it should start to change. So we'll silence that. We will go in and we will wait for the device to cool down a bit before we reset the panel. So we wait. All right, it's cooling. We gotta wait till it gets, we gotta wait till this number goes down below 135. This is the rate of rise and this is the fixed temp. And the fixed temp activation is 135. So we just gotta wait for that. 136. And we are now below the alarm threshold, so we can reset. And we wait for it to reset. Strobes continue to flash, and that click you're hearing from the panel is it turning off and on the uh, NAC real quick to resync the strobes on the circuit. That's been a forever reset. There we go, good job. All right, so then the final thing we're going to do is do the key test in the back room here. Let me get my testing key out. It's awful tiny little key. All right, here we go. So that has been the test. So thank you guys for watching and as always, have a wonderful day.